the evolution of warehouse automation, past, present, and future. Daifuku claims to have developed the first automated storage and retrieval system, or ASRS, in 1966. In the 1960s, the original ASRS systems were aimed at large loads. ASRS systems at this time were giant cranes that traversed large columns of shelves to store and retrieve raw materials. And these are still used today by various manufacturers. For automated pallet storage, I would say that this is one technology that really hasn't changed much since the 1960s. The cost of these systems were high as they require a lot of infrastructure, including tall and expensive shelving, and load-bearing rails were also required to be installed on the floors and the ceilings for the cranes. The crane also consumes a good amount of energy and can only access one location at a time. For the right application, all of these costs are worth it because the ASRS crane and shelving systems, number one, make more efficient use of land, two, improve storage efficiency and access, and three, save labor in warehouse work. Because of the high cost though, automated storage and retrieval systems were utilized by only very large manufacturers to store finished goods and get raw materials to the production line on time. At that time, most warehouses were of a single story design and much of the work was manual, including storing, loading, and unloading. Although computers were around, adoption of computers into the warehouse industry was delayed. Most of the record keeping was done on paper, ledgers, and slips. With the introduction of the home computer in the late 70s and 80s brought digital record keeping. Companies began to use software technology to manage their inventories. Through the 80s and 90s, the technology began to be adopted by smaller manufacturers and eventually into industries such as pharmaceuticals, agriculture, interior decor and supply, wholesale and retail, bank, insurance, and public agencies. These industries didn't have much previous experience with logistics automation, so it was necessary to make the automation solutions more intuitive and customized for each of those industries. And during the period between the 1980s to the early 2000s, several other giants helped to fill the need in the logistics automation space, including companies such as Mechalux, Bastion, SSI, Schaefer, and Weitron. AGVs, automated guided vehicles, also became popular at this time to help reduce employee and product travel distances within warehouses. As the cost and size of the systems have decreased, and as they have become more efficient and compact, we are seeing the adoption of warehouse automation closer and closer to end users. The most extreme example of this is micro-fulfillment centers. Fabric, a startup founded in 2005, has reduced the footprint of its warehouse automation systems to fit urban areas close to the customer. These small fulfillment centers help to reduce costs of the last mile, which is a shipping term used to describe the movement of goods to their final destination Today we are in another massive growth period for warehouse automation that is driven by large e-commerce e growth. And it's no surprise that e-commerce is the major driving force behind retail closures. In 2019, worldwide retailers plan to close more than 9,300 stores, smashing the previous record of around 8,000 stores worldwide in 2017, according to Business Insider. E-commerce sales continue, continue to impinge upon the retail sale market share, representing 14.1% of all retail sales worldwide in 2019 and expected to reach 22% of all retail sales by 2023. During this time, worldwide retail will continue to grow at a fairly consistent rate of 4 to 4.5% 4 per year, with the largest growth being in markets like Mexico, India, the Philippines, China, Malaysia, and Canada. Other factors behind growth in warehouse automation are the increasing cost of real estate and warehouse rents, increasing costs of labor, difficulty finding skilled labor, more frequent and complex orders, which, are, which is largely uh, driven by e-commerce activity, and of course, higher customer expectations and demand for 
customized products. This means we need to have a greater number of SKUs on hand, and this also requires fastest access, faster access to a growing number of components with very little room for handling errors. These new constraints and challenges have given birth to a wide variety of creative robotic systems aimed at making warehouse and order fulfillment centers more efficient. Many of these robotic solutions use independently functioning battery powered robots, which can handle the small items and complex orders that are frequently demanded by the e-commerce industry. Flexible and modular high density storage. Atabotics has created one of the most flexible structures as it is modular. In addition, its 3D layout is significantly more dense than the traditional rows of shelving units, which allows us to store many more goods per square foot of warehouse space. Goods to person solutions. Many fulfillment solutions still rely on employees to pick products for orders as picking is one of the more complex tasks to automate. Robots then are used to move goods from the shelving units and storage locations to the pickers rather than having pickers travel around the warehouse. This is also effective in saving space as it reduces the space dedicated to access pathways and helps to increase pick rates. Automated picking solutions. As automation technology becomes more efficient, I believe that we will see more automated picking solutions adopted into fulfillment centers. So what's the future of warehouse automation? In the future, the ASRS industry alone is expected to be worth 9.8 billion by 2023. And the warehouse automation market will grow by more than two times from 13 billion in 2018 to 27 billion in 2025. And this is supported by more than $5 billion in investment that will flow into the space by 2025. I hope you enjoyed delving into the history of warehouse automation with me. It's been a quick flying overview. If you are a visionary that understands the major problems in your industry and want to automate a task in your business, but aren't happy with the existing off-the-shelf solutions, we can help create a complete solution that works for your business. So give us a call or reach us by email to start discussing if your task can be automated using technology that exists today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.